Polish bullet train. Look at this thing. I'm running, it is literally a bullet train. That was horrific. A non alcoholic bit. I don't, I don't know what's up with me. Does that ever happen? Mm, was not expecting this at all from Warsaw either. Good morning guys from Gdansk, Poland. Today we are finally heading to the capital, Warsaw. I say finally, I feel like a lot of people would start their trip in Warsaw as it's the capital and probably most flights go into there but this is actually one of the last destinations we will be heading to and of course again we are taking the train. We've taken all types of trains, all different trains but actually they seem like they've been the same trains but we actually had quite a few comments saying we need to try out this particular train. It's like the, it's dubbed the Polish bullet train. Um, Pendolino? Pendolino. The Pendolino. I think it's like an hour quicker. So instead of like four hours, it takes three hours. Um, it was expensive. I think because we booked last minute online, it was like 30 pounds each. Um, but it's quick. It does actually look like a bullet train. It's only a few years old. Um, and I enjoy these train travel days. I've enjoyed them a lot in Poland, but the thought of getting a bullet train in Poland is something that I didn't expect. Um, we have got to pack up, get going, because the train goes in... It's 12.29, we have an hour, we've got time. I say we need to pack, it's normally Molly it that's the packer. It is always me that packs everything up. And you may have noticed that we finally have a new backpack. I think we've had that other backpack for like two years mm -hmm. now. So we actually got sent this, which was very nice of Manfrotto, Manfrotto, I don't even know how, how we would say it. We say it like that. And this is the back loader bag. Uh, it's massive, but it fits everything in it. Obviously we have so much equipment, but we have like everything fitting in there nicely. Perfect for the drone, the camera, the laptop. Drone, camera, laptop, all the chargers, and waterproof. Matt said it's waterproof because it comes with a little bag. You said it's really comfy, right? It's, it is much comfortable. And I think it's pretty safe, like if you want to- Throw it on the floor. <laughs> no, I meant if you wanted to padlock it up, but um, yeah, thanks for sending it to us. Not that I wear it. <laughs> bag whether it's for camera gear or you just want a comfy bag I say get it we'll leave the uh, the details of this bag in the description below but why every time we have a travel day is the weather amazing and then when we want to explore somewhere the weather is terrible but we're back at um, Gdansk train station I feel like I've been here quite a few times already back and forth I'm gonna miss Gdansk um, I really am I feel like it's been my favorite city bar the weather um, we've got about an hour so I think I'm gonna get, how long we got? 50 minutes, KFC. Thank you. We're fashionably early and there is something about the twisters from KFC in Poland that are just unreal. They are really top tier. Like, unbelievably top tier. There's something in the KFC twisters in Poland that aren't in anywhere else in the world. There's something special about them. I don't know what it is. The mayonnaise, the coleslaw, something about them. They're very, very nice. Um, I still can't wrap my head around the, at the train stations that there's two, pla two platforms in each platform. So you're never sure which side is your train because the train information doesn't come up until a few minutes before. But I'm excited to see if it actually is or looks like a bullet train. It looks like a bullet. It's coming. Oh my God. Is it though? Is it a bullet train? It is a bullet train. Oh God, it is. The question is, will it stop right here? Normally we always make the mistake. Of staying too far away. It doesn't come anywhere near us. So is it coming? Tell me, I can't it's see. It's coming. We actually seem like train enthusiasts <laughs> right now. Look at this thing. I'm running. It is literally a bullet train in Poland. We're running. We don't have the right. Oh, is this even us, Molly? <laughs> Definitely in the wrong section. This is section we're in number two. Two. We're section six. Means we're gonna have to walk all the way along the whole train. How many more have we got to go? A lot. It's nice though. It's, uh, it's not booths. It's like two seats together. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> we're Are we at? We're still at two, Matt. I mean, if you're a train enthusiast, it's a very nice train. 
Yeah. We are only at four. Two more to go and Matt's fallen all over the place. <sighs> that was horrific. For Matt, not for me, but we have found our seats. We're sat in 42 and 48, which makes me, which made me really anxious actually because the seats weren't together. Yeah. But it's like odd. Are we oh, definitely in the right bit? Yeah. I think we are. Different configuration. You're not in a cabin. You two. Loads of legroom and we actually walk past a bar, food court, whatever you want to call it. I'm sweating. And they have menus, so I think we're going to go there. It looks pretty fancy to be fair. And the line. That's touch screen. Is it? There we go. I can't believe how much faster this train is as well. The other day when we went to Malbork Castle, it took around 40 minutes. This train took something like 15. So it was like more than twice as quick twice as quick and it's so smooth apart from this bit apart from this is the only bit that's really really noise. bumpy but well, we're gonna go and head out the restaurant cart now <sighs> thank there you, you. Go. 10 hours later yeah that took forever i got a sprite and matt got a non-alcoholic beer i don't i don't know what's up with me does that ever happen i'm liking this little stand-up bar it's better than the um the one on the train from poznan to dance, which was yeah. great. Like standing up, you get a lot more room. And I was checking, this apparently goes 250 kilometers an hour and over, which would be That's a bullet train. Stand up. But because of the Polish railway or the tracks, it can only go up to 160 miles an hour. It's nice, because down there, have your non-alcoholic beer. Look out at Malbork Castle as we head south to Warsaw. <laughs> Remind me not to have a non-alcoholic beer again. I don't know what I was doing, but we've made it. Two and a half hours, really, really quick. An hour and a bit quicker than expected. Well, if you've got a normal train, I'm gonna definitely call it the Polish bullet train. It even had the look, we have made it to Warsaw Central. Is this Central, Molly? There's like five different stations. You know straight away that you are back in the big city, in the capital city. We now got to try and find a way to get to our accommodation. I think we're staying, we're, we're staying centrally, right? I'm terrible, I have no idea where exactly we're staying, but yeah, highly recommend the Polish bullet train. You can tell the difference straight away. As soon as you come out, there is no, none Quaint of that colorful town. little old town. It's just a huge skyscraper, mirrored building. It's actually really, I don't even know how to describe it. When you've been so used to these small old times, to come out to that, it's wild. Hi, thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is nice, it feels so different being in a big city. This is lovely. Oh my God, wait, hang on. This reception's really cool, isn't it? We have to go up a glass elevator. Yeah, and you can kind of see like the shape of the building is less City side, but I like you. Ready? Are you in? I'm sort of in. We've just come from a glass elevator to a glass floor. Don't, don't look down. That's actually really scary. I don't like heights that much. But Are we this way. Let me take the case. Oh, that's nice of you. Thank you. Scan. No, we haven't got a scan the key. Not a long walk from the glass flooring, which kind of scared me. But are you ready? Oh, this is oh. nice. Do I do the room tour straight away? Do it, do it, well, do it. Well, this is a bit I'll different. Do. Look at this. Have you ever seen anything so white? It's like a walk-in wardrobe as well. That is like the whitest bathroom ever. So beautiful, modern. So, wow, we have our bath, big circle light. I love that, the shiny tiles. This area I'm just obsessed with, it's huge. You walk in, we have our huge bed, mirror, you can tell it's really new, can't you? It looks so fresh. It looks so fresh. I thought it was a door going somewhere, but it's not. <laughs> nice chair. Nice chair, TV, and I'm assuming, do you reckon that's the skyline? It's like a photo of the skyline. That looks I'm really gonna nice. check if we get a skyline. Hang on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look. wow. look at that sky. It's, it's so different, isn't it? I that's can't get over. lovely. This is the Indigo Warsaw Hotel. And I've just worked it out because you know indigo is like a shade of purple. Everything in the hotel is going to have some sort of hint of purpley blue. And we have it with the chair, the bed and the painting. Just look at our view from the window. This sky, it is just so different. So it's so normal, but so different to the <laughs> quaint old towns of the other cities. But everything that we've been used to, to have a view like that from your bedroom window, that 
is insane. I love it. Some people aren't like keen on keen cities. on like super modern skyscrapers and cities, but I think look at it. It's so nice. That's amazing. Just done a quick change. And whilst I was getting dressed, I actually noticed that by the side of the bed, they put this um, mini bar thing, normally that we don't always look at, but the very first thing as you open it, there's a recipe for a cocktail, a traditional Polish cocktail. And I'm ashamed to say that in our six weeks of being in Poland, we haven't, have we had a Polish cocktail? No, well we have now, but we will do now. So they said you need, the Bison Grass Vodka, which we have tried in the shop video in Poznan, yeah? yeah? And apple juice. I don't know how well this is gonna turn out, but apparently it's grassy, woody, with strong whiffs, vanilla, almond, and apple. We've got Master Matt, the cocktail maker. I'm nervous. 500 years of tradition. It basically says two part, one part, so let's get that open. I can't believe it, our first Polish cocktail. Look at that. I've already shown With it, how cute is it? grass on it. Right, I'm going all in. The grass has gone in as well. <laughs> no, it hasn't. Yeah, look. Oh my God. A little bit of bison grass, right? There. That's iconic. Um, apple juice. Open like so. I never use a mini bar in a hotel, this is the first time ever. All right, go on in. We need a taste test. Okay. It just look, it doesn't look like a cocktail, but <laughs> oh, it's nice. It's sweet. I said the bison grass, and it's only sweet. It's really, really sweet. It's actually a bit of a toast. We uh, only have three nights left in Poland. Ended in the capital city is always a bit strange. So uh, we weren't going to have a drink tonight or a cocktail. Hence the zero percent alcohol in the train. <laughs> but with three nights left, I thought I can't not Nostravie. That is a very nice homemade cocktail, but our hotel is so centrally located. We're actually popping out for food. I made me some drink. Just look at this. That is not what I envisaged when I thought of Warsaw. I don't know why. I thought of the quaint old towns, but it has a mix. It's got an old town, which we're gonna see at some point, but it's also got this super skyline. It could be New York, it could be Dubai. I don't know why, I just never envisaged it in Poland. Look at this, it could be in downtown LA. <laughs> this is bad, but we try and go in a hard rock whenever we see it, and as soon as we got off the train, the first thing we noted was the huge guitar, so. It's bad, but we're going hard rock. I don't care, we have to go in every country. <laughs> it's very unlike us not going somewhere local, but don't judge until you've tried hard rock nachos. I know it's touristy, I know it's cheesy, but they're just the best. That is not a hidden gem of travel, but hard rock and nachos is a must do. You a can't go wrong. You literally can't. It's a must do for us in every country. Normally we don't film because, <laughs> I mean, it's hard rock, it's touristy, it's cheesy, like I've said, but you honestly can't beat it. I um, was not expecting this at all from Warsaw either. And it actually makes me more excited to explore uh -huh. tomorrow. Tomorrow. Because at least we've had a slight feel for the city. Exactly. We, we're, we're very centrally located. We know the old town's a little bit out the way from here, but obviously we'll see the old. We'll see the new. We've been on a bullet train. Bullet train, like that. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot more to see and do in Warsaw. I'm very cold, we've eaten too many nachos. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>